<sighs> Gotta be honest with you guys, I'm not happy. We got another horror movie today, because it's the spooky season, everybody wants horror movies and shit. I think y'all are just sadists and you want to see me torture. You know I don't do quite well with horror movies. Alright, well time to start freaking out. <laughs> and today we got A Quiet Place. Well, that was disgusting. Don't believe the lies, deceit. I can be more. So, I spent four dollars on this movie, paying to have the shit scared out of me. Can't think of a better way I would like to spend my evening. Uh, it's interesting though, because most of the horror movies we've checked out on the channel have been rated R. This one is actually rated PG-13. It's an hour and a half. I feel like I could do anything for an hour and a half. I could fucking hang from my toenails outside the balcony for an hour and a half. So this isn't gonna be too, too bad, but this is what you guys voted in on Patreon. And if you want the full version of this movie, you wanna see every moment I get scared, I'm gonna leave the link to the Patreon down below in the description. <clears throat> At this point, I think I'm just procrastinating because I don't want to watch this. <sighs> I'm scared! Okay, come on. Man up! Day 89 of what? Damn, that's a lot of missing people. Oh, I should also probably say I didn't read a synopsis. I don't know what the fuck this movie's about. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Great, small child in the dark. Oh shit, she's deaf? Oh my god. Oh, that's uh, that's Emily Blunt. This is gonna piss a lot of people off, but the only other movie I know with Emily Blunt is The Adjustment Bureau. You guys know I haven't seen shit for movies, hence the channel, but for some reason I've seen The Adjustment Bureau about nine times. What the hell happened in this town? Is this some apocalyptic shit? The fuck? The hell is this about? If they hear you, they hunt you. A family must live in silence to avoid mysterious creatures that hunt by sound. Oh, even the slightest whisper or footstep can bring death. Oh, okay. That's why that girl fucking Derek Jeter all over the floor to catch that little toy. Is this gonna be an hour and a half of silence? This has gotta be a slapping movie. I mean, this won by an overwhelming majority in the poll. Oh, it's got battery. Oh, shit. Now that's a world where you could tolerate children. Aww. That seems kind of like a risky maneuver. The kid drops the toy and then the whole family gets murdered. The risk reward, is it there? I don't think so. No! Okay. None of them are wearing shoes. That's an interesting detail. I guess shoes make sounds. Y'all are all gonna die. The kid wanted to play with a fucking plane. The risk reward is not there. Well done, girl, you killed your brother. The fuck was that? Damn, we're skipping some time, okay. Day 472, wow. Does she feel responsible for her little brother's death? I wonder. It's 100% her fault. I mean, it was, it was a kindness that she did, but... Yeah. Oh shit, get underground? I'll give the movie this though. The originality's there. I I'm so thrilled that it's not another movie about some fucking possession. <laughs> the devil inside of me type shit like that. <laughs> Getting fucking gooch slapped by one of them devil spirits. Seen that movie enough times. <gasps> She's pregnant again. Wonder what that sex is like. Silent sex. So I guess being underground, you can make more sounds. I guess these fucking weird alien stick devils are lurking above ground. Oh wow, they're soundproofing. Would you not be concerned with those sounds? The 
Little Wayne, little in the fire. Boom. No? Yeah. Right. What happens if you don't speak for several years, but you have the ability to speak? Do you forget how to talk or is it just like normal as hell? Or like maybe your vocal cords would be like super sore because you haven't used them. I don't know. Oh, are they all eating with their hands because the sound of utensils would make noise? But he, he used a lighter up top. I don't know. Fuck! Oh my god. I was about to say, Monopoly's not the game to play. People get pissed off at that game, start throwing pieces, start throwing the board. Monopoly's probably the loudest game there could ever be, besides Taboo. All that stress cannot be good for the baby. Is there even a point to check on it? Like, can you defend yourself against these creatures? Can you kill one? Why are you even looking? <laughs> Fuck! I knew it was coming too, I knew it was coming. Oh, the fuck? Okay. I mean, y'all probably can't see that. There's goosebumps. <sighs> oh, that's so sad. It's okay, but don't fucking do it again. Jesus! <sighs> this is, this is <laughs> what I don't like. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Ah, she wants a little silent sex action, eh? That could low-key be kind of a kink though. Am I right? Like no talking sex? Could be kind of hot. I don't know. That makes me feel refreshed and less exhausted hearing that. I'm like, Jesus, imagine being like in that environment for years. Fuck that. 473. Wow. Oh, I just thought about that. How the hell is she going to give birth? You have to do that silently? Oh my God. You got to shoot all the drugs there are into her body. Oh, hell no. Oh my God. And how does that even work? The baby can't be crying. There's no way that's gonna work. They should have showed us the learning curve for society here. You imagine when this first started, nobody knew about sound. People saw one of those things, they're like, oh my God. And then the person next to you is like, oh my God, my mom just. <laughs> Must have been just a crazy domino effect of like millions of people dying. I don't know why I laughed at that. That's not really funny, but it's a little comical. <sighs> Fuck! Get that shit the fuck out! <laughs> Why do you not want it? I don't get it, what's the issue? Use your hearing device! Okay, why the hell are we learning math? You should be learning survival skills. Don't worry. It's a terrible thing to say. She's 100% worry. The thing's murdering us for murmuring sounds. Motherfucker. Don't be snapping. Snap your bangles, but do you stay up? Oh my god, dude, it's the suspense. Do not look out the window, there's gonna be a jump scare. No. Okay. Okay. I, I feel like you should close the drawer. What happens if it falls out? Hell, hell no! God.
god, dude. You see? If I were in the dude, I'd die from the fucking Roomba. You just killed me, bitch! Oh my god. So you guys are safe there because the water's making a sound and it's drowning out the other sounds. Alright, so we got nothing to worry about, right? Oh my god, so there's gonna be a sound made. The bag's gonna rip. Oh no. Don't just yank it! Okay. Is the nail gonna come in handy later on, or...? Why the fuck would you do that? Promise. Don't, okay, well then speak sl speak softly. Don't fucking howl to the moon. This seems like a stupid exercise. How about y'all talk at a comfortable level? I don't know, man. If it were me, I'd be taking those pictures off the wall. Uh, at some point, it's gotta give out and then a picture's gonna fall. It's gonna make a sound. Everyone's gonna be murdered dead. Again, the risk reward's not there for me. Why didn't you let her come? Do you blame him for what happened? Damn. No. Yeah, he does. Because she blames herself. You don't want to, but you gotta blame her. I mean, not as the parent, but like subconsciously you're like, wow, you know what you did? It's fucked up, but... Oh, that's so sad. It was no one's fault. Except for hers. <laughs> It is! She gave him the helicopter! Or whatever the hell it was, the plane! I mean, I guess you could say it was his fault. He grabbed the batteries, but he wouldn't have needed the batteries if she didn't give him the fucking plane. You still love her, right? Yes, we still love her. Of course I do. Hmm. <laughs> you should tell her. God, she must feel so bad. This is really sad. Fuck! Oh my god, dude! Okay, this dude looks like he's on drugs. Ah! You fucking idiot! Old ass Jesus looking man? Oh shit, that thing had a head! Okay, I get it, your fucking wife died and shit, but why scream when there's a man and a young boy there? Jackass. People are idiots, dude. Idiots. Oh shit. What do you do? The baby's gonna cry! Weird pregnancy question for any ladies out there watching that know the answer. At that point in the pregnancy, is there ever a situation where the baby cries inside the mother? Don't know. Oh god. Oh god, no, 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 not the nail! Not the nail! No! Oh god, she's nailed to the damn stair, dude. Oh shit. Oh, that is gonna get infected. You better you better you better fucking put some neosporin on that. <laughs> the worst series of events. Water breaking, steps on nail, creature in the house. Wow, she's doing a phenomenal job acting. Does the red mean one of those fucking things are in the house? I don't think that was proper grammar. One of the things is in the house. Oh god! Can it- can they see? Or- or I think they're- uh, I remember the board said blind, right? Ew! I feel like one's gonna be behind her. Oh, sh <gasps> Ew, what the fuck? What is that? Oh. 
Wait, why is there a timer going off? Oh, the strategery. Oh. I don't like that. Is she holding it in? You know how uncomfortable it is to hold a poop in? Imagine holding a baby in. Oh shit, I guess you can kill him. Oh my god. Holy shit. Where is she? Wait, did the thing fucking eat her? No. But the fireworks went off. God bless the dude. I don't know why I do this like I'm about to fight it, but. Oh my God. Why is the baby not crying? Dude. Uh, uh... It's just the suspense. Oh shit, just ran into a wheel. What do you do? What do you do? Oh. Oh shit. Oh, that's why they were- Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's why they were building that underground place with all the fucking soundproofing. Is it smart to have an open flame right by oxygen? I don't know if that's the best idea. Wait, is, it, is that the dumbest thing I ever said? Is oxygen- is oxygen flammable? I don't know. Fuck it. Like, concentrated oxygen? I don't know. Never mind. Oh, fuck. Is that its eye? Wow. Well, that thing just saved her life. It's okay. It's okay. They can't hear us. Why? The room? It worked. You just need to rest now. Where are they? I'll find them. They know what to do. I'm not even a parent. And that horrifies me. There's kids out there all by themselves. Who are we? If we can't protect them, who are we? You're fantastic parents. You can't protect your kids every second. Promise me. You will protect them. Oh, <gasps> son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, they found each other. Good, but my heart, dude. <laughs> uh. why, why is the water running? Oh, fuck. They're such good, smart kids. Dude, this whole little family unit, uh, I've done a fantastic job with acting. Are they actually, are they actually a family? Like, I feel like somebody's told me that or I read that somewhere or something. Not good. Oh my God. How did that little fucking snarling beast get in there? Oh, hell no. <laughs> that literally makes me feel like I need to sit with my legs up. What if it touches you? you? Better shut that baby up. Oh God, put a pacifier in its mouth or something. Oh God! With my luck, if that were my kid, he'd start fucking screaming bloody murder right then. Oh, that's smart. Actually, maybe the running water is going to save their lives so the baby can coo and it can be matched by the sound of the water.
Dude, this is actually a pretty good movie. This shit got me on edge. Was that corn? Oh my god, it's like quicksand. My dude's gonna drown from quick corn. What is the best strategy if you're in something like that? How do you survive quicksand or something? I feel like that's some knowledge I need to know. Imagine just being in something like that and then your eyes are closed. You don't know which way's up, which way's down. Okay, I guess I can put my legs down. One of those fucking beasts is gonna just be poking his head out the, out the skylight. Fuck! Fuck! Oh shit, dude, that thing just tore through the side of that? My god. Watch your feet! Okay, I didn't see the nail. Wow, they're so good. Happened to the kid's eye. I want to see him kill one of these bastards. Because on the whiteboard it said that these things have armor, but it's got to be a way to kill them, right? You'd think. I guess axe is a good move. For some reason I'd be inclined to grab the pitchfork. Oh, shit. Ew! Fucking giant Demogorgon spiders, dude! Is there a shotgun in the truck or something? Ew, disgusting fucking beast, dude. Just pisses me off. Oh, he's sac is he gonna he's sacrificing himself for the kids? Oh, he said I love you. That's what you needed to hear the whole movie. I mean, he fulfilled his promise to his wife that he would protect the kids, but damn. One of those fucking serpent monsters with that flower mouth, dude. Oh. Okay, yeah, y'all gotta get the fuck out of there. And where's the newborn? Shit, mama's got the gun. Yeah, watch your step now. Why are you not coming down? Do not step on the nail. Please look where you're going. Okay, good. She didn't step on it. What is the weakness? Is the dad really dead? Is there any chance that he got away? That little machine you didn't want to wear saved your life numerous times. Sweet God, will these bastards go away? Shoot that motherfucker. He opens that whispering eye of a fucking mouth or whatever the hell it is and liquidate his assets, dude. A shotgun might kill that one, but would that invite others? 
Ew, what the fuck is that, dude? Shoot him in there! Oh, she knows the weakness. Yeah, she knows the weakness. No shit, it's that high-pitched ass sound. Does that hurt her too, though? Yeah, I guess that's why she never wanted to wear it. Oh shit, she's gonna broadcast that sound. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Amplify that bitch. Oh, that's why it attacks sounds, because the sounds fuck them up. They want to get rid of anything that might harm them. Dude, let's go. Holy shit, she just murdered one. Okay, it's coming back to life. Shoot that bitch. <laughs> Let's go. Oh God, are more coming? Like, let's fucking go, bitches! Wow! They know the weakness now, they know how to kill them. Fucking get one of them screeching monkey machines going and then just blasterize them with the shotgun, dude. I'm watching too much Marvel, I don't know if there's any end credits. Wow! Okay, that was pretty good. I'm glad I can live in a world where I can go, ah! Without there being a result of... I will say that this was probably one of the most innovative horror movies that I've ever seen. I think that it was very well done. I believe this was the director's very first horror movie. It didn't quite seem like it was the very first one because it was so well done. I think the interesting thing is that humans create the craziest situations for themselves. So in a movie about silence, our mind fills in all that silence with like the craziest fucking things that could happen. The tension of the movie was really like tense. Um, and I wouldn't say that this is too scary. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Jesus! You know, this one was interesting though because it didn't have too much death, except for probably the hundreds of thousands of people it murdered before the movie started. But it was like, it was a story about a family and redemption. The little girl who felt like she killed her brother ended up saving everybody, so she came full circle. The dad fulfilled his promise to the mom for protecting the children. It was a it was a very nice family movie, one that you should you should take your kids to see. Your small children, take them to see this. All right, guys, that was a really fun one, honestly. I enjoyed myself. Hope you guys did too, and I will see you in the next one. Drink some water and take some vitamin pills. Peace.